So let's talk about what you are seeing happening at City University of New York. You are at Queens College, um, and it seems as though what's happening there might be uh, typical of what's happening at institutions mm -hmm. of higher education nationwide. Yeah, I, I, there's a there's a lot of things going on. The way I like to describe what's happening is it's sort of like when you go to the beach and you get caught into into an undertow. It's just when you think you're about to get up and be able to grab your breath, another wave comes over and hits you. And, and that's what it sort of feels like to be in higher education right now. Uh, we, you know, uh, in the spring, like uh, like all schools had to jump out of the classroom and start teaching in the online format. Um, it wasn't wasn't a, an easy transition. And the, the problem for us, it, it, which was different from some of the private institutions, was that our students then had to work from home. We went online and then found out a lot of our students didn't have the technology at home in order to be able to access the online format or they didn't have a quiet space at home, or they didn't, um, they didn't have, have the internet access. And so then we had to stop, and then we had to start again. Um, so right now what we're dealing with is, um, because, of, because of COVID and because of people not working and increased unemployment, we've also have much reduced taxes, which means we have a lot less money coming to the institution. Uh, what's also happened, and because of that, we're in the situation of having to lay professors off or you know, just not reappoint them, which is what you were discussing. Um, but part of the problem is also is that we were given money by the federal government, but we weren't given permission about or instructions about how to use that money. So there's a pot of money that's sitting there that could be used to help save some of these jobs, but it hasn't been released or the institutions aren't being particularly transparent about how that money is being used. So, um, you know, before we knew what the budget was going to be, we had been asked to cut our budgets, to uh, let some of the faculty go. Um, and that was before we even knew what was going on in terms, terms of what the budgets were going to be. But I think one of the key points that, that I really want to stress in, in all of this is that we were already severely defunded before we even got to the situation that we are in now. We, we weren't, we're not at the bone, we're getting into to core organs in terms of how much we're having to cut right now. And so it's, it's so bad, we are at the point where if we have to let 